Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Most of you have probably heard that there's been a bit of a controversy over Adobe's terms of use. In my newsletter, I've written about it twice, once on June 8th and again on July 9th. I'm not here to dig up the past. If you want to read what I wrote about it, I'll have a link to my newsletter in the description below this video. Instead, in this video, I want to talk to you about some things you might not be aware of. When you use Adobe products, you have the option to allow Adobe to look at how you use their products so that they can improve them. Also, if you have any images stored on Adobe servers, you have the option to allow Adobe to look at and scan those images to improve their machine learning. That's what they call it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to see if you're already opting in or opting out for those features and how to change those settings. Now, what you need to do is open up your Creative Cloud app. When you open up your Creative Cloud app, you make sure you're in this Home tab over here. And then on the right, you should see your name and Manage Account directly under it. Click on Manage Account. When you do that, it will open up your web browser to your account on Adobe or at Adobe. Then what you want to do once this page is open, go up to the top where it says Account and Security, click this little downward facing arrow, and go to Data and Privacy Settings. Once you go there, you'll notice at the top, there is an on-off switch for Share Information and How I Use Adobe Desktop Apps. And up here it explains what kind of rights you're giving them when you have this on. Uh, if you don't want Adobe to know how to use their apps, turn this off. Below that, you can see there's another switch for content analysis for product improvement. When you use Creative Cloud and Document Cloud apps, Adobe may analyze your content processed or stored on our servers using techniques such as machine learning to improve our products and services, and so on. I'll let you read this when you come here. Now you have the option to allow Adobe to do this or just take that switch and turn it off and you're not giving them that option to do that any longer. So that's all you need to do. Turn off those two toggle switches if you do not want Adobe to know how you use their products or if you have any images stored on Adobe servers to not allow them to scan their images, scan your images to improve their machine learning. Hopefully this helps. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.